shut off. Oh, did it? Like, oh, is it off or is it on? What's up, guys? I'm Zach with Blades LLC, Central Minnesota here. Uh, we're coming into my favorite time of year, which is fall, and uh, that means cleanups. And over here, we have a new to us 2021 20, Billy Goat. It's got the 18 horse Vanguard on it. I bought it just slightly used this uh, this year, midsummer. I think we purchased it. And yeah, we got to jump on the game and I'm super excited. It's got some uh, mounts that he made for his dump trailer, just hung it over the gate. Uh, we're gonna make something, uh, we're gonna mount it a little bit differently on my dump trailer. I want it to be a little bit more permanent, but yet still be able to pull it off. We're just gonna change the mounting system on it. So. Stay with me here. We're going to get this thing uh, mounted up. You're going to see how it's going to go on there. And I think it's a really uh, unique, sturdy way to mount it. So we're going to get into her.
All right, so your little welding lesson of the day here. You can see that's a pretty nice bead. Pretty nice bead. You can see there's a little bubble here, and that's porosity. It's, uh, what happened was there was a gap through here, you can see, and uh, at the end of that weld, it just sucked in some air, uh, creating like a, a little bubble. I actually watched it happen. You can see here it happened again where it tailed off. Usually it'll happen at the end of a weld uh, where there's a gap and it just, yeah, like I said, it sucks in air. Uh, not too bad of a bead here on the top. They're a little bit cold. We're welding with the handler 210 MVP. Pretty nice welder. I'll show you guys a little something. Let's see if you can see it. Right along the uh, right side of that bead there, the right side, um, there's a little bit, you can tell it's a little bit cold. There's a little bit of a gap on that right side between the weld and the metal where you can definitely tell that it's just cold, it just didn't attach to the metal, so. Um, I did throw a triple pass on this other side, so we're just ensured that she's going to stick. But yeah, this is thick stuff here. I don't remember if it was three-eighths or quarter. Looks like quarter. So heavy duty, heavy duty. Uh, max for this machine is three-eighths, so yes, it can do it. Uh, do I recommend it? No, it does not like to do it. I just don't want my eyes to burn because oh, you'll be, you'll be fine. people um, say it hurts. Oh, it does. They say it's like getting sunburn on your eyes. <laughs> it's, it's terrible like that. You've had it? Of course, I'm a welder. <laughs> yeah, it's happened before. Yeah, you don't want to look at an art. Yeah, it feels like, really what it feels like is you got sand in your eyes. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's not fun. I've had that happen in, at work. I freaking weld, welding helmet here it needs to take a chill pill. Okay. Looks like it's leaning up. I'm going to have to break it. I'm going to re-tack it, okay? Okay.
Yep. Lock nuts. It shut off. Oh, did it? Like, oh, is it off or is it on? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. so much for watching uh kind of a two-day process finished her off today got the old billy goat mounted on the dump trailer here i wanted something that was going to be pretty sturdy 
Something I could take on and off, really uh, simple. What we did here is we welded these lugs on. Two and a half inch lugs, got two inch uh, quarter tubing. So it's very sturdy. So this thing, this whole thing will come off by doing undoing these two bolts on the top and undoing these two bolts on the bottom. And this whole thing will slide out and uh, it'll be out of the way. So I think we accomplished what we wanted to here by you know making this simple to remove so it doesn't always have to be on here but yet keeping it nice and sturdy and and it definitely is. I couldn't I don't think I could have came up with a better way to do this. So I hope it works out. The door does swing. Uh, we're gonna need a longer chain to chain it on the other side, but really excited to use this uh, this fall. I'm really sorry we couldn't get it all on film. We tried uh, our best yesterday when we were uh, working to get as much filmed as possible today. We just uh, literally tipped this dump trailer up in the air and uh, that lowered this pole bracket down towards the ground and we were able to kind of slide this thing up onto that just like a ramp so it wasn't too big of a headache and then we ran some uh, carriage bolts here you can see them behind here ran them carriage bolts there's a square top right in the billy goat and that square uh, machined head fits right in there on a 3 8 carriage bolt so super nice Thought it was the best way to do it, and then we ran it down underneath the tubing here. And you can see there's a, a nut underneath there. But. Overall, super pumped about it, and we're gonna get it out in the field here shortly, and uh, you guys will get to see how it works. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that little subscribe button down there, and uh, definitely turn on that notification bell. We're going to get to doing some sweet cleanups this fall. I can't, I can't wait. The next step is the dump trailer top here. We got to reconfigure what's going on uh, as far as the walls go because we need to go up a little bit higher, but that'll be part two. Stay tuned. We'll catch you on the next one.